Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Catalana chicken breed. This is neither an ancient nor new breed of Spanish origin. It is sometimes referred to as El Prat, the Buff Catalana, the Catalana del Prat Leonada, or just Prat. It was developed over the course of the 1800s in the region of Catalonia, Spain, near Barcelona. Its parent breeds are unknown, however, many sources believe that the Castilian chickens were crossed with Asian stock, very much likely the Cochin chicken. In 1902, the breed made its grand debut at the World's Fair in its very own country of origin, Spain. In 1949, the breed received official recognition by the American Poultry Association. Though they struggled to become popular in America, even today, they enjoy great success in Spain and South America, even being used commercially in the 1920s in Argentina. In America, their status is critical according to the American Livestock Breed Conservancy. There is one single variety of Catalana chicken. He is a rich orange buff color whose shade of red feathers can vary among individual birds. In both males and females, the breed has tail feathers that are black but shimmer green in sunlight. The rooster has a large single comb with six points that all stand upright. The hen has a medium-sized single comb in which only the first point stands upright as the other points flop to the side. The earlobes are white, the eyes are a reddish bay color, the shanks and toes are a bluish slate, the skin is pinkish white, the beak is a horn color, and males can weigh up to 8 pounds, the females up to 6 pounds. There is a bantam variety available, and the males can weigh up to 32 ounces and the females 28 ounces. The Catalana is a nervous breed. They are very independent, alert, and wary, even of their own owners. Therefore, they are not good birds for children to be around. They typically aren't interested in making friends with other chickens. Because of their high alertness, they are very capable of escaping predators. These are a free-range chicken. They do not tolerate confinement. They are excellent foragers, so a lot of space is a requirement. However, they are also known to be very talented flyers, so if you want them to remain in the enclosure you have provided for them, you should keep their wings clipped to avoid escape. They are a low-maintenance breed and have no unique health issues to speak of. The Catalana can be described as a dual-purpose breed. In South America, they are used both for meat and eggs, and according to some sources, they are even used commercially in Argentina. They will offer an average of about 240 eggs a year in shades of off-white to tinted. The roosters are known to have good quality carcasses and tasteful meat. The hens are not broody and do not make good mothers. If you wish to hatch these birds yourself, you will either need an incubator or find a broody hen that can hatch them out. If you have a large yard or live out in the country as well as live in a very warm climate, the Catalana would ideally make a good breed for you to raise. However, due to their lack of popularity in the U.S., they are quite difficult to find. But if you live in South America or Spain, this issue is practically non-existent. One should keep in mind, however, that this is not a friendly breed that does not allow people to pick them up. Even as their owner, they will keep their distance from you. I would like to point out again that this breed prefers warm climates. So if you live in a part of the world that is that has cold, harsh winters, 
this is probably not a good breed for you unless you have a facility to keep them indoors where, where you can keep them warm. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if I left anything out, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time.